Hi everybody, I'm Mike Day and I own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. I also own this website, everythingaboutconcrete.com. And today we're going to talk about my top 10 list of concrete hand tools for doing concrete flat work. So if you're, if you're new to this business or you're thinking about getting into the concrete business and pouring concrete floors and patios and sidewalks and pool decks, these are the these are my top 10 tools for getting into this business that you need to have if you're going to be successful. Now the first one we're going to talk about is a concrete screed. That's this little magnesium board here that we use to level the concrete with. Now they come in different lengths. They come in, I've got, I've got about eight of these. They come in from four feet all the way up to 16 or 20 feet long. Now I only have a 14 footer as my longest. That's what we use the most. And I have a 12 footer and a 10 footer and then, you know, a four footer and a six footer. But, you know, if you're just starting out, probably like a four footer or a six footer and then maybe a 12 footer would be all you need for a concrete screed. And then as you as you move along and you make more money, then you could you could buy some more screeds. But having all the different lengths is definitely pretty handy. The second thing you're going to need is a bull float. That's this right here. And what a bull float does is after you screed the concrete, you run the bull float over the surface and it pushes down the rocks and it brings up the cream so it smoothens out the surface and makes it easier to finish, whether you're going to trowel it or broom it. So a bull float is definitely a must. Another thing you're going to need is these come alongs or concrete rakes and we we use aluminum ones some people use steel ones but we like the aluminum ones because they're really lightweight and they make it real easy for pulling and pushing the concrete around getting it in place so having a concrete come along is a must they're not very expensive and i'll have a link in the description down below if uh, you want to just come check out this page and then i have links to all the different products on here where you can go check out these these different tools the next thing you're going to need is a mag float or a magnesium float and this is what we use to smooth out the edges to smooth out around pipes or up against the board like this um, it just makes the edge nice and smooth it pushes down the rocks brings up the cream and is just part of the finishing process we use the mag for both pouring and for finishing concrete so this this thing's a must-have the next thing you're going to want to get is a steel trowel or a hand trowel and similar to a mag this thing is used for smoothing out the concrete but it's more used for the finishing process once you once you mag out the concrete and and get it rough smooth what i call then the next phase would be to use a hand trowel like this and steel trowel the surface if you're looking for a really smooth surface. Now, these come in different lengths too. They come in 10, 12, 14, 16 inch lengths so you can you can get what best suits you need. We usually use a 14 inch long one by 4 inches wide. That's what me and my guys use the most. Now another hand tool you're going to need is an edger and you'll use a concrete edger to go around like the outside edge of a patio or a sidewalk or a pool deck and leave this it, it rounds the edge off so it gives you a finished mark around the edge and it leaves a little tool mark on the surface to give the concrete kind of like a picture frame look and it just gives the concrete a, a little bit better look than just leaving the edge plain so a concrete edger is a definite and to go along with that a groover if uh, if you're doing patios, if you're doing pool decks, if you're doing sidewalks, you're going to want a concrete groover. A concrete groover does a couple things. The first thing it does is it leaves a, a score line in the concrete like this, and it, it kind of gives the concrete a place to crack. It helps it crack in that line, so it hides the crack and doesn't, doesn't leave an ugly crack in your concrete. That's number one. Number two, it just helps make the concrete look more decorative and these go down they're all different lengths but we have one that goes down about an inch 
they go down inch and a half some go two inches some a half inch but for most general uses one that goes down an inch is best and I also like the brass ones like the one in this picture and this link here will take you to that a few more things one one more thing you're gonna need is a broom um, a lot of finishes we put on exterior concrete is a nice fine broom finish and you're gonna want a nice fine broom like this one here it, it doesn't leave real deep broom marks it, it, and it leaves the surface nice and textured for especially around the pool deck or a sidewalk so you're not going to slip on that surface when it gets wet these come in different lengths we like the tw we have a 24 inch one and we have a 36 inch one those are the two we use the most uh, they come wider but the wider they get the the heavier they are and so sometimes sometimes you get to reach out 8 10 12 feet to to pull that broom back to give it the broom mark and the heavier ones are just harder to hold up in the air when you're trying to reach out that far now another thing we use a lot and I think you will too if you have them in these concrete knee boards or these sliders and kind of like snowshoes on snow these allow you to get onto the concrete a little earlier than you can if by just walking on it and they slide they slide really easy on the surface so you can move around and cover a lot of area if you're if you're finishing some concrete by hand or if you're going to get on let's say a, a concrete pool deck like this and you can mag it out with by getting on it like this with these sliders get it all magged out and then run your broom over it so these sliders are a must-have if you're starting out or if if you've been in business and you've never used these I would definitely get some and try some I think you'll find that you'll be using them a lot and lastly for my top 10 list of concrete tools is you're going to need some rubber boots um, we all have rubber boots on you can't you can't let the concrete go through your your leather boots or your shoes the concrete will burn your skin and at least some really nasty burn marks so you you got to have these boots they're cheap they're inexpensive you can get them just about anywhere um, I got a link here if you need to go get them there but uh, you got to have concrete boots if you're pouring concrete number one well that's it guys that's my top 10 list for concrete hand tools if you're just thinking about getting into the concrete business or you're just starting out these are the tools you'll need so go go check them out and, and this is a, the starting place this is where you're gonna start your concrete business right here good luck